CCTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. Thank you for being here. The Port of Nanaimo is working right now to position itself as a destination for cruise ships, capitalizing on the city's First Nations culture. The port says competition from Victoria and from Vancouver is stiff. It knows that. And Nanaimo cannot sell itself as an urban destination in this market. But what the Harbor City can do is create a niche to draw visitors with the promise of something different they won't find anywhere else. CTV's Chandler Grieve has the story. It's built and waiting for the cruise ships to come. Five ships this year. We're looking uh, at the discussions with the cruise uh, people in Miami and California. We have nine uh, vessels already booked for 2013. Nearly one year after Nanaimo's $24 million terminal was unveiled, the Port Authority is fighting hard to avoid a sophomore slump, aggressively marketing Nanaimo as a cruise ship destination rather than just a pit stop. Convince the carriers to come through during the summer so the economic impact for the community can be the complete summer and not just in the spring and fall is what we're actually experiencing right now. As it stands now, cruise ships use Nanaimo strictly as a repositioning port, meaning the city acts as a transition point from the Caribbean cruise season to the Alaska cruise season. They come off the, the, the platform or the pontoon. But the Port Authority hopes to change that by tapping into Nanaimo's history. The niche market is to find a, uh, uh, an activity that the cruise passengers will find unique. And uh, I'm, I'm very strongly uh, hoping that we can get an Aboriginal tourism activity with Nanaimo First Nations. They don't don't have this kind of product uh, in Alaska per se. No one from the Shinanemu was available today, but the city's Economic Development Corporation says a strong cruise ship culture is crucial for the city's downtown development. We absolutely do need the cruise ships to have our downtown thrive. It's an integral part of a bigger picture. On May 5th, the Norwegian Pearl will drop anchor here in Nanaimo, the first of five scheduled cruise ships this season. 2,300 people are expected to be on board, and the city is expecting $200,000 to be injected into the local economy. So who is set to benefit from all this? Well, that depends on who you talk to. Well, uh, the cruise ships, uh, they do stop at other places other than Nanaimo, but it's, uh, they're always looking as, a, as some token or memento, perhaps a nice painting that uh, reflects, uh, you know, the landscape of uh, the great landscapes that we have here. And we'd see cruise ship people, they'd, some walked in and checked us out and things, but they'd eaten already. So our experience was not helpful to our business. The economic spin-off from the five ships stopping in Nanaimo this summer is expected to be close to $900,000. With numbers like that, you can see why the Port Authority wants to increase visit, aiming for 30 ships per season by 2015, putting the harbour back in the harbour city. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Nanaimo.